Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well today of course it's Patch Tuesday like I have mentioned. So Patch Tuesday is the second Tuesday of each month and this is August of 2022 where we get updates that uh, fix a lot of bugs especially security flaws but it has a little more for Windows 10. So of course check your Windows updates if you're on Windows 10 version 21H1, 21H2, and uh, some of you may be 22H2 like I am, they're all being updated uh, with the latest version for the security updates. So if you look at your updates, you should actually have uh, a version of the update called KB5016616. Uh, cumulative update and of course possibly some other updates are possible in there um, So this one actually is of course the patch Tuesday updates brings your Windows version for those that are uh, Wondering what's the latest build version for Windows uh, in Windows 10 depending on what version you are you'll be at 19042 19043 19044 um, actually, it's mostly 19 because 20H2 is not in there. You should be like 19043, 19044, or in my case, 19045. The ending is important. Dot 1889, which is the latest bill number uh, after today's update. So um, 1889 is the ending to make sure that you are up to date. And the 1904.345 depends on 21H1, 21H2, or 22H2. Now, in this um, security update that uh, does fix a zero date, that's very important to fix because it's already exploited in the wild, uh, there's a little bit of stuff that's also improved. They um, address an issue that might cause some consecutive video clip playback uh, in the X12 and this has to do with if you haven't installed by the way the last um, cumulative update for bug fixes you'll have this you'll have the X audio API to play sound effects that is going to be fixed uh, height of the search box when you use multiple monitors that have different resolutions <coughs> and sorry guys <clears throat> and uh, issue prevents certain troubleshooting tools from opening this of course of course comes from the fact that if you haven't installed the bug fixes for July, you'll have that added here. So uh, for security reasons, mine were installed in a pretty, I mean, done this PC. And, and I mean, this is an, an older Core i5 PC, but it has an SSD drive. And I think that plays a big role in how fast updates are. But uh, it was pretty fast from the download and install. Uh, I don't think it took more than five minutes, five to ten minutes. Uh, maybe 10 minutes max, but uh, some of you with older computers and you know standard uh, magnetic hard drives might take a lot more time. Just let it do what it has to do, especially since it fixes quite a lot of security flaws in Windows, including a very important critical zero day. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.